Hey everybody, my name is Colin Slap, watchmaker in the Netherlands, and I love to show you the end result of this Frederik Constant limited edition. Maybe you remember the disassembly that was simply criminal. Um, well, our uh, master editor Teun is still on holiday, so please forgive me the the crude editing while we are filming this uh, but this was uh, when it first got here um, you see the the scratches on the on the case and you see just about over there the broken screw I'm pointing with the pin to it um, that was only the beginning of our journey because if you see the hour hand here it's broken as well and everything was glued together I found out why this screw that screw was broken um, I'll show you here is the small clip and that is securing the watch movement in the watch case so far so good but during this assembly we already saw that this screw was a bit lopsided bit strange and the broken screw was the one from the other side so there was something going on but hey uh, well, but here it is simply the small uh, clip should be in between sandwiched in between the watch case as you can see here it was on top and while they tried to screw it on they made that depression do you see it well that was the start of my depression um, so I had to adjust the clips and had to find the proper screws because as you can see it's got a um, really fine thread these screws well I made these plates um, I make them a set and finish just like the uh, watch movement um, I found the perfect screws with the exactly the right thread but just about all the screws on this watch are blued these screws were of uh, stainless steel you cannot blue stainless steel um, the traditional way that has to be carbon steel so I allowed myself the freedom to uh, use these um, stainless steel perfect screws and in a moment I'll show you the back it's hardly visible but function um, I think it's really important that the watch case uh, and the movement stays in place but maybe you can see there the small depression when the plate was pushing on top oh well so here it is and if you see right in between there there is one screw and there's the other well please forgive me that I didn't blue them but um, it is for me the perfect solution like this um, I'll show you in a moment because this is Vis uh, visual uh, the end result but I show you on the Vici on the time grapher uh, the end result as well and then maybe you can remember um, how the, the the feet of the module were glued together that was just that was horrible um, it was about 15 minutes on a lathe simply to make them two uh, in exactly the right dimensions uh, for both I think I spent 15 minutes on a lathe uh, the broken ones uh, seem a bit thicker but that is all the glue residue uh, still on them um, so I made the pins on the lathe from brass uh, I made them 
fresh fit in the module and then afterwards uh, when they were pressed in I'll show you in a moment um, I riveted with an, uh, the staking set and with a very pointy stake tiny bit so in the middle you see a small dot and that is where I tapped so it is perfect fit in the module uh, let me show if that's working yeah uh, so it's press fit in the module in the bridge uh, and then you can see in the middle just a smiley uh, tiny uh, hole indentation and that's where I tapped so it's like this so perfect fit no glue needed and again it was about 15 minutes on the lathe it probably took longer for the glue to dry than to do the proper uh, repair or restoration on the two pins that was just insane um, found a new dial, uh, hand nicely blued uh, cleaned up the plate uh, the the dial of course beautiful uh, polishing and there and if you um, allow me a bit of crude um, camera work <laughs> Sorry about this. And again. Like that. Then I can show you the end result, which is even more important on the Vici, on the time grapher. It is crude camera work, but hopefully worth it. There we go. Of course, amplitude is really important. There it is. Amplitude uh, 321. Uh, really did our best. Uh, beat error 0, 0.0. Cannot be better. And we made it plus two seconds. Uh, you never put it on exactly 0, 0.0. Always a bit in the plus, just a few seconds. And then um, it is running perfectly. So almost um, chronometer uh, specifications. Uh, but then again, well worth it for such a beautiful watch. Um, what a journey this watch was. Um, simply uh, restoring it the broken parts making a few parts on a lathe wasn't really that difficult um, i must say the design of the movement uh, i was impressed uh, frederick constant really um, made a nice looking and very functional movement as well so uh, i really enjoy that beautiful watch running perfectly again but the mess the previous watchmaker made usually I say maybe not that experienced uh, but this was criminal using glue like this um, the plates not in between but on top if a plate is like this uh, during assembly there is something wrong if it's nice and level like this you know you're doing a great job so um, this watch is going back to a hopefully very happy customer um, I loved showing you the process of what you can find in any given watch and step by step how to resolve it uh, making it back to original and back to the the states that we really love as uh, vintage watch uh, enthusiasts so all of you thank you so much uh, for joining me 
and um, hope to see you soon every Tuesday, half past eight Central European time for live watchmaking. And if you like our YouTube channel Chronoglide, please hit the like button. See ya. Bye bye.